Hi, I'm Dr. Cruz. I am a board certified plastic surgeon who specializes in gynecomastia. And I'd like to talk a little bit about anti-estrogens and anti-aromatase inhibitors for gynecomastia. A lot of my patients are, are bodybuilders and they often come to me and they ask me, what, what's the value of taking anti-estrogens or, or aromatase inhibitors to treat their gynecomastia? particularly the ones that have used uh, steroids, any type of testosterone, uh, and then they, they've gotten puffy nipple from it. So uh, they come in asking, you know, is it really useful? Because this is what you hear in the gym, you know, to take the anti-estrogens to cut down on the, the breast tissue. And I just wanted to go over what the value of that is because they're most valuable before you have gynecomastia. Because once you have gynecomastia for greater than 18 months, um, or even any length of time, the, the anti-estrogens or the anti-aromatase inhibitors, they're not going to reverse it. So it's best that before you have it to start cycling it with the um, medications. But I just wanted to go over the, the value, the, pr the pros and cons of taking it. And I, I know I'm a surgeon and I'm not trying to sell a product, but I'm saying that the best way to, to manage your gynecomastia is to simply get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't make as much sense to me to diminish the amount of estrogen that you have because you actually need estrogen. It's, it's important for both bone density and uh, skin, it, it creates collagen. We put it in medications to treat skin quality. So to take that away, uh, to treat your gynecomastia, knowing that you've got to take it the whole duration of any type of testosterone treatment, doesn't make as much sense to me. So in that sense, having the surgery is much cleaner because now you're getting rid of the pop problem. It's really a cure something that you'll never have to think about again versus having to take a medication for potentially the rest of your life.